If you're looking for a booking plugin that does everything that you need and doesn't limit you in a bunch of ways that other booking systems do, well, you have to check out Amelia. Let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? So Amelia is a WordPress plugin that's really flexible and it's going to allow you to add your calendars into it. So there's not limitations like you would find on other booking systems. Now to do so, let's go jump over to my WordPress site. And if you want to install Amelia, go ahead and jump into add new plugins, search for Amelia and go ahead and add it here. So they have a free version. Okay. Now, once you install Amelia, you're going to be able to do everything straight from your plugin right here, Amelia. Now, before I show you the settings, let me show you some really nice booking pages that were created with Amelia. Let's get started with this Barbara one. And I really like this one because you can see how much potential you have with Amelia and how complex you can actually make it. So it could be a simple booking system or something really complex like this one. But even like this, it's just super easy to build. So for example, in this case, first of all, it's going to ask us for the service. So you got haircut, you got trimming, you got shaving, and you got a detail of what that service is going to provide. So for example, if it's going to be a haircut, I'll go ahead and select it. So for example, it's going to be a gentleman's finest. Okay. Then I want to select who is going to cut my hair from that barber shop. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to select Fernando. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue the head massage. Do I want to add that or not? In this case, let's go for it. Let's go ahead and add it. And then we want to select the date when we want to book this. So for example, I want to do this February, February 21. Okay. And then what time slots are available? Well, I'll go ahead and select this one at 5 30 AM. That's kind of crazy time, but there you go. Okay. And now we're going to add the details for my name, last name, email, phone number, so they can contact me, go ahead and continue and jump into the payment section. Obviously you can connect your payment gateway and take payments with Amelia also. So it's really powerful. There's also this one where I want to show you, for example, you can embed your booking plugin. It's a little bit more simple available for it's going to be a, I don't know, couple problems, location, San Jose, continue again, select the date slot that you want to select. You can see that it's different colors, different settings, different options, and it's really customizable, different layout in this case. So again, add the details and jump into payment. And the last one I want to show you is this one from Scott Stevens. You got your booking now way more simple. So it's going to be, for example, lifestyle. Go ahead and select this. The photographer is going to be Emma. Go ahead and continue to the date. See how it's a different style. It's more of a, like a card style where you jump into the next one. Here we go. You can see the sections here. Do the booking and you're good to go. All of these were built with Amelia. So once you have Amelia installed, you're going to have your dashboard right here to view all the details for your bookings right here. You got your calendar. Once you have those connected, you're going to be able to view your calendar bookings here, plus your normal calendar um, appointments that you have already. So they're going to be all viewable right here. And if you have something scheduled, it's going to remove it from that option. To, so someone can actually book. Okay. You got your appointments. You're going to view all the lists right here. You can actually create an appointment manually. If you want to do it, go ahead and do so from here. You got your events, employees, your services, all of these you need to create. So that booking plugin is really powerful. Okay locations, customers, finance, notifications. But the first thing I would recommend that you get started in before doing all of this is going into the settings. So I'm showing you the, the easy parts where you can see the calendars and appointments and all that. But then you got to go into this section where you have to set up your integrations. So for example, if you want to integrate with Google Calendar, your Outlook, your Zoom, webhooks, etc., you integration settings and you're going to have the integrations for each one of these available once you select them. For example, marketing tools, you have all these options, lesson spaces, and you have those integrations. So it's really, really powerful once you get that integrated and then go into your general options, company notifications, working hours, payments, working hours are super important that you set up because you don't want someone to schedule in a hour that you are not available. So in this case, you can add your working hours. You can modify these to add your spaces where you don't work, where you go to eat or something like that. And the days off. So for example, I don't know, Christmas, New Year, um, special holidays, days that you go on vacations, etc. Go ahead and add them right here. It's all super easy and intuitive to create your booking plugin. So it's super easy to create something nice looking like the ones you just saw right now with Amelia. So if you need Amelia, go ahead and grab it from the link in the description. And in my opinion, it's really powerful. It's something that it has all the flexibility that you're going to need. 
And if you don't want to go through that nonsense where you are limited with certain parts of a service, definitely get Amelia because you're going to have all the flexibility. Just go ahead and add your calendars, your integrations, and you are good to go. And that's a wrap.